Hi everyone, my name is Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to have a quiet house. <laughs> Today I wanted to try and make a moss slash cocoa choir slash twine climbing pole for my plants and we're gonna see how it goes. Just wanted to say thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. I'm honestly overwhelmed at how many there already are, only in a couple of weeks. So I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and enjoying the videos. I'm very surprised, I don't know why, <laughs> um, but I really appreciate it and it's a really good feeling and I'm really enjoying making the videos. I just wanted to say that I really appreciate anybody who's subscribed recently and it means a lot to me and I really appreciate it, so thank you and enjoy the video. <laughs> so guys, what I'm using today, I have a scissors, I have jute string. This is the string that I just always use for everything around my house and on my plants. I haven't made one of these before ever, so let's see how it goes at the end of the video. And then I have just some bamboo sticks that I usually use for the outside garden. I have quite a few of them here. They're really, really long, so I will be like kind of snapping them to make them the right length. But that's basically what I'm gonna use. So these are very thin and I'm going to put a few of them together to get them a bit thicker. Today, I'm just gonna try it for one plant to see if it works. That plant is my Philodendron Pedatum Laciniatum. It is non-stop growing. I actually cannot stop it growing. It's growing really, really fast, which is fantastic. It's reached the end of the pole, so I need something else for it to climb. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to try to just basically, either I can stick it in here, hopefully, or I can stick it in the back just to create it, make it longer. I don't want to be taking out this pole and not using it for no reason. So let's first think of the length that I'm going to need here with this. So first of all, can I stick it in the middle? What the hell is in there? Okay, so we're gonna have to not do that. We're gonna just attach it to the back. Oh, fuck. So basically this is the length that we're going to need. You can't see all of it because of where the camera is, but I'm not going to move it because I'm too lazy. <laughs> That's how high we want this puppy. And see how long that is. Okay, we need to snap that one too. Okay. It's better with the knee. It's much better with the knee. So I'm just going to lift up. I know this isn't the best angle, guys. I am aware of that. So I, just to show you what I'm doing here, I'm tying them at the end with a, just a hairband that I have uh, to tie my hair, just to keep them, to try to keep them all together like this, because that's the way that I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Why didn't I plan this? So now we're gonna get our string. What I've done is I've tucked it inside the hairband. I've lifted it up. I have my finger holding that part. I'm pulling it down under the bottom, up, and then I'm gonna start winding the rope around. And we're just gonna keep winding, 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 tight winding. Winding, 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 okay? And we're just gonna keep on, keep on going. So I'm at the end here, I'm just going to tie a knot. Got really lazy there towards the end, you might have seen my fingers are really sore after that. <laughs> so this is my something pole, my climbing pole. I'm just gonna call it a climbing pole. It's not a core pole, it's not a moss pole, it's not anything, but it's the same purpose, same thing, just using whatever I already had at home. I just wanna show you, I've basically just stuck it in the back of the moss pole that was already there. I've tied it on with some string in parts so that it can stick together. So it basically just continues on. Now I know the top of this plant will have like a bit more to stretch with these aerial roots, um, but it will get there, they'll find it. 
So it's been a couple of weeks later since I originally did the kind of coconut choir or twine uh, moss pole that I have actually behind me on my philodendron pedatum. So it's working very well. It's actually grown up and it has some aerial roots going into the top of it there. Um, so I'm quite happy with how that worked out, but I didn't put up the video uh, yet because I've actually thought of something that I think is a bit cooler than using bamboo sticks. I know, as I said, that you can use any type of, of sturdy thing that you can find that won't rot in your soil. But we had quite a bad storm here a couple of weeks ago and we lost a lot of big branches of trees that are near the house. So I was kind of walking by and I was thinking, it's just such a natural, you know, if you're looking at ivy or whatever, I live in Ireland, so ivy is very common here, but the way that ivy grabs onto trees and climbs and all of that, it's just so beautiful. It's such a natural way for these things to climb. And a lot of the houseplants that we love, like philodendron, monstera, they love climbing up things and what's better than to provide a much more natural climbing thing inside your home. I think it would be much more aesthetically pleasing. So what did I do? But I went and I got a <laughs> cool looking branch. Now I have seen some things online. I'll, I'll try to find a photo of it, but much more natural looking moss poles ones that aren't straight up, ones that are curved, you know, ones that you can even bend. I was just looking at the stick and I was thinking, this is a lovely looking stick, isn't it? I just think it's really, really beautiful. It also has some lichen on it that I think is really pretty. They're kind of like air plants, I guess. In Ireland, you can do like tests on air quality and stuff on them and they're really pretty. So I think that I'm going to try and use this now and I'm gonna cover it in twine. So it's the same process as before. I'll probably speed this up so that's not super boring. So this is kind of what it looks like. I will put it into a plant and show you what that looks like as well. Um, but yeah, so this is this is it. I honestly really like the kind of natural look that it has. Twine is basically just there to help to help the aerial roots grab on. Um, it's kind of a rough substance, so I think the aerial roots will be able to stick to that much easier than if it's just you know plain wood. If you do make this yourself, let me know what materials you decide to use. I would encourage you to use anything you have lying around. I mean, really all you need to have is some kind of structural element that will provide support to your plant and something grippy for the aerial roots to kind of dig into. So you need that support for heavier plants and for bigger leaves and you need that kind of grippy texture for the area roots to grab hold of. Really that's all you need. It doesn't really matter what you make it out of. But of course if you feel like it and if you want to you can also buy moss poles or cocoa poles in most garden centers. If you enjoyed watching me make this climbing pole for my philodendron adatum please hit like down below and if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more and you want to be notified whenever I post click subscribe down below as well as the notification bell and I will see you in the next video bye